Do people have a good or bad mentality by nature? Although the answer to this question, which has been asked for thousands of years, is still unknown, we now know more than ever before about human nature. Thirteen untold truths about human nature are provided below so that you can make your own judgment. Are people by nature good or bad? First off, we tend to assume the worst. When someone does something awful, we tend to assume that they are a nasty person, but when we do the same thing, we tend to blame our surroundings rather than ourselves. This actor-observer asymmetry, which is a fundamental aspect of human nature, is known as We give people false credit, while giving ourselves plenty of leeways. Second, we relish adversity. Sometimes are people by nature cruel. In a 2013 study, Rudolf and colleagues found that people only enjoy other people's suffering if we believe they have earned it. Imagine a superhero thrashing a supervillain. What if the enemy was attacking the hero instead of the bad guy? We like watching this character suffer because they did something wrong. That hero is ethically admirable in our eyes. We would experience resentment or sorrow instead of pleasure. So yes, we do enjoy other people's misery, but only in the appropriate situations. Third, we disbelieve facts. What's the most effective way to argue? Most people believe that the strongest arguments available are supported by facts and data. However, research by Lord and others found that people are by nature too limited in their thinking. Even if someone provides us with compelling proof, we are prone to reject it and continue with our initial viewpoint. The fourth is that we support justice. Is there justice in the world? The truth is no, yet human nature is in favor. When we are young, the world seems fair and just. Both the virtuous and the bad receive rewards and punishment. As you get older, you realize that the world is trickier than you initially assumed, but you still think that all will turn out okay in the end. You convince yourself that someone deserved to suffer when you witness them going through it. You believe that all suffering is justified and that every adversity is one's own doing. Humans are wired to believe in a just world even when it isn't actually just. Fifthly, we have empathy. Does the fact that humans are predators at the top of the food chain indicate that we are aggressive by nature? Despite the violence, cruelty, and war that have marked our past, a biological discovery has shown that people are meant to help rather than harm one another. In a 2015 study, Lam and Majancic discovered that mirror neurons exist in the human brain. When you exhibit a sensation or behavior that someone else does, your brain's mirror neurons automatically engage. Your mirror neurons help you feel connected to the outside world and produce the complicated feeling known as empathy. Humans can learn to use violence, but empathy is a part of who we are. Sixth, we demand justice. In their 2008 study, Valdesolo and Destino investigated those who pass judgment on others. These people rarely give any thought to their own problems, they readily criticize and shame others for their transgressions. In other words, even while we allow ourselves to be selfish, we expect the world to be fair. Seventh, as women, we are more powerful. In a 2008 book by Dacey and Travers, they claimed that one biological sex is truly superior to the other. Women have structural and biological advantages despite the fact that men are typically taller and more muscular. Women are less prone to abnormalities and disease than men, according to Dacey and Travers. Why? Because the pair XY is much more delicate than 20. Despite what our society may believe, women are by definition the more powerful sex. Eighthly, we detest boredom. Which would you prefer, 15 minutes of silence or shocking yourself? Wilson and others discovered in 2014 that most people want to startle themselves. 
humans by nature look for any way to pass the time, even if doing so puts them in danger. 9. We look for equilibrium. You regenerate and stabilize naturally when issues arise inside your body. Your body is constantly attempting to get back to its normal state, which is one of balance and harmony all throughout. No matter what is going on, whether it be a physical ailment or extreme stress, your body and brain are constantly looking for equilibrium. Tenth, we have too much confidence. Are you more intelligent than the typical person? Most people will answer yes, but they usually make mistakes. The least intelligent people are frequently those who think they are smart. The Dunning-Kruger effect is one of the many biases that cause people to overestimate their own skills. The same is true of morals, kindness, and dependability. In other words, people are naturally arrogant. 11. We are drawn to the shadows. Why do we fall for enigmatic characters? People of all orientations have long been drawn to troubled and dangerous spirits. Consider characteristics like impulsivity, insensitivity, and self-interest. Although these characteristics are strongly linked to serious personality disorders like psychopathy, they are also viewed as being very attractive. 12. We're easily frightened. Like many other species, humans have leaders who may use fear to achieve control. Humans naturally submit to and support those who frighten or dominate them. A leader may use intimidation to ascend to the top even if they are not qualified for the position. And the thirteenth is that we misuse anonymity. Ever wonder why there are so many derogatory remarks posted online? In general, people behave morally when they are aware that someone is monitoring them, but when they are anonymous, they are more likely to violate their own morals. Have you ever let your humanity get the better of you? Do you believe that people are either naturally good or naturally evil? In the comments section below, share with us your experiences. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Inner Pigment for more.